Hey, it's Mike with TriMasterSwimming.com and Barry's Coaching in Louisville, Kentucky. So what do you do if swimming right now feels even worse than it did while you were in season? You know, you're just, it's, a, it's hard, it's drudgery to get yourself to the pool. And then, and then what do you do if maybe you've had a successful season, you're a, uh, a very seasoned or experienced triathlete, um, what do you do now? What do you do in the off season to, uh, to keep things going? Well, if, if right now it seems like drudgery, <laughs> here's a couple suggestions for you. Um, pick, set a goal, set a skill goal. So that a skill could be something like, you know, maybe learning a flip turn, maybe, um, you know, learning the fundamentals or the basics of another stroke besides freestyle, uh, such as backstroke, or maybe even learn a dolphin kick. Um, all of these things, learning, expanding your skill set will, um, you know, it'll enhance your, um, your overall skill set as an as a open water swimmer and a triathlete. Um, you know, I joke sometimes and I say, listen, as, as a, a multi-sport athlete, you kind of want to be the, um, you know, the Swiss army knife of athletes, right? Uh, so take the same approach, you know, in swimming. Maybe it's, uh, you, you know, we spend a lot of time do, doing speed development right now, you know, so set a goal, maybe a, a, a sh an easy six week goal of uh, bettering your 50 meter uh, sprint time. You know, so if it's a 50 meter freestyle, you swim, it takes you 50 seconds to, to sprint a 50 meter freestyle right now, you know, set a goal to swim 49, 48, under 45 seconds, something like that. Um, but keep the training shorter, obviously, this time of year. There's no need to be pounding out some miles. And if you're an experienced triathlete, an open water swimmer, what do you do now? How can you dial in uh, your training even further? It might be uh, that you, uh, you know, you really get focused on your race pace. So, you know, 1500 meter race pace, if, if you're gonna race some uh, Olympic distance races, maybe early next spring, uh, really setting a target pace and then doing your interval training to target that pace. So it might be something like 15 by 100 meter repeats with lots of rest, but each and every one of those, you're swimming at your target pace. It might be understanding that um, now you're diversifying yourself as, uh, as a competent open water swimmer. So really getting used to or, or training yourself to attack the first couple hundred meters of an open water swim. So think about those things as an experienced athlete, you do kind of want to start taking kind of an ascending approach to developing yourself as an athlete. So you might find yourself hanging out in the long distance lane at the master's swim team practice, uh, training with those guys who race the, you know, the 400 meter freestyle, the 800 or the 1500 meter freestyle as pool swimmers, knowing that you're going to take that, um, that skill that you learned there, you know, translate it to the open water. So hope those tips help. Thanks for watching. By the way, it is Tuesday and which is Technique Tuesday. So don't forget if you have a video of yourself swimming and you'd like me to take a look at it and do a video analysis, I will do that absolutely for free. Uh, just email me at mike at tryswimmingblog.com and I'll do a free two minute uh, video analysis and uh, upload and send that back to you. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.